Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. If you don't want to leave a comment, that's fine. You could always leave a thumbs up, a heart, a rose. Any positive interaction with the page really, really helps. So let's talk Wendy Williams. Let's put ourselves in her shoes or her family's shoes. For what we're seeing, she wanted this documentary to come out. Maybe because she noticed things that were going on behind the scenes. And how do you get the word out? Media and TV. So with her having the conservatorship, and I'm not a lawyer. I don't know conservatorship, guardianship stuff. But just thinking outside of the box. One, her sister tried to be the guardian. They blocked it. And the reason why they blocked it, allegedly, it seems, in our opinion, there's stuff that's happening behind the scenes. And if you are a part of her team with the courts, you'll get documents. And it seems as if they're, they're not wanting people to get a hold of certain things or documents if you're not a part of that team. In speaking with a friend of mine that's gone through conservatorship problems or issues, most of us have had issues possibly with our parents. And we had to step in to be the conservator or the guardian. There's a lot of paperwork. There's a lot of documents. When you move them to a facility, there's XYZ, a booklet of paperwork to get them into a facility. If you move them to the facility, the courts have to be notified. It's a lot of paperwork. So if Wendy Williams' team is listening to any of us, get a copy of everything the courts have. The bank statements, what money was spent, what money she had prior to so you can evaluate what's really going on and where the money is going in our opinion allegedly it seems as if all comments are alleged it seems as if someone doesn't want any at all people to know where the money spent how the money spent and this is the biggest thing why not let a family member do it are people that are rich being victims of core issues how does a bank, Wells Fargo, in our opinion, how do they get involved in a woman that's rich issues with the court? And if people are taking a, her for granted, then that's the issue. Now, take a step back. Remember when Wendy was not feeling well, she had the fall. And then remember when we saw that Kevin Hunter, they went through the divorce and then somehow, some way, he had bought this expensive car for this woman. And then Wendy had that car picked up. So is that part of the red flag that started it all? Now, Wendy had put her child in this expensive apartment. That's red flag too. But that was her decision because that was her money. So maybe the course didn't like how the money was going to be spent. And it's like, well, wait a minute. And we know allegedly, allegedly... Wells Fargo was having a lot of issues in regards to lawsuits and they were probably losing clients because people were like, held up. What do you mean Wells Fargo is a part of Wendy Williams' financial issues and they put flags on her account to have the court put a freeze on her account? So how was this woman supposed to live? How is she not able to make a decision? One, we see that she's not married, so the husband would have been the guardian. Remember a story back in the day when Wendy had said, I'm married. And she was trying to say, hey, I'm married. But they probably she probably couldn't get married if the conservatorship was already, and she had a guardian. She couldn't get married if that was already in the works. Now, if Wendy would have been smart, she would have got married before that guardianship and conservatorship happened. Because, it would, and even if it would have had to been Will, 
Will would have been the husband and everything would have went through him, but at least he would be able to get the statements of what the court has. Everybody else is out of the loop, outside of the guardian and outside of the courts. So if Wendy's team is listening, they need to get every document of what the court has, all the documents, and she needs to have a copy of her file of what the court has. In our opinion, this is not legal advice. Just thinking outside the box. So we see that she has a person that's assisting her. And also, I feel that Wendy should have had a home health aide assistant. The home health aide could have given her help with food, help with dressing her, clothing her, doing her hair, and different things in the home to keep her well. Instead, they gave her a media assistant or whatever, and then she became a financial advisor. That's problematic because she's not going to care for her as a whole person. There's people that have home health aid, people. They do your laundry. They run your errands. They prepare food. They do things to help you because you're not physically able to do it. When you hire an assistant or a publicist, what are you publishing? What do you need to publish? You don't need to pub. She needed somebody to help her. Now, back in the day, I felt that she needed a nurse. The nurse probably would have been blood pressure, but they probably wouldn't have did the home health aid stuff. Talk with a bunch of people. Home health aid people is to help you aid in your daily care. Her makeup would have been proper. Her clothes would have been proper. She would have been eating proper. proper. And if it's to fix three meals a day, you do that. If it's to wash her clothes, do her laundry, put out two to three outfits, and she chooses one. It's to make her comfortable. So now we see that Will, this woman, Sean, she's trying to financially financially help with what? And then you're psyching her up to make her think she's going to do a podcast. No, don't say you can't do anything until your health gets better. They weren't doing that, which was concerning. You can't do anything. It's okay to tell them that. I told you I have a friend. Father had the situation with um, dementia slash Alzheimer's. I think they had said theirs was Alzheimer's. And then we had a friend that had dementia. So the biggest thing is we see the decline. We see the conversation. Hi, I know you. Hi, who are you? I'm your driver of 10 years. I don't know you. So there's different situations in regards to a person. If they've been with them day to day for 10 years, they'll probably know them and they continue to know them almost all to the end. Some of them, depending on how bad it is. Not medical doctor, but I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it because I've assisted and I've helped. So in the show, this was also concerning. This girl takes Wendy out of town to LA, California, whatever. And Will's like, where's she at? Get her back here. Who are you to take her <laughs> out of town? Even though, even if it's your dime, on your dime, get her back here because then that's on Will's back. Having Black China there gave it that there is a friend that's looking out, checking on her. How is she doing? A buffer between Will, the family, just a friend. Sometimes they get tired of seeing the same old, same old people. She lit up. And I said, I told y'all, she probably took that wig off. And they were like, let's just keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. This is me. And then to hear that Black China was rubbing her feet, she just gave her comfort when she needed it. So it was nice that they let them talk. And she said, I'm doing well. I appreciate you being there, blah, 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 blah. Appreciate Black China for being there. Because when you're in that situation, caregiver, um, home health aid, when you have a person that can step in for an hour or two, if you have a family emergency or an hour or two, when you got to run an errand for your family, the visitor's there. Are you comfortable with this visitor being here? Yes, go ahead. Run your errand. We'll be here. Give me two, three, four hours. Let me take her to lunch, whatever. Um, there's so many concerning things. This is the biggest thing. Like I said, in regards to the sister trying, but they blocked it. Something's going on. Now, this is the big boom. I'd heard, and I don't know if this is true. Don't, don't take this, take it with a grain of salt. I'd heard that Wendy might not be in the United States. She might be out of the country. 
getting help, getting assistance. So if she's out of the country, will they try and switch the conservatorship, the guardianship to that country? Hello? She's not in the United States. So now she needs somebody that's out of the country to be the judge, be the guardian, be the conservator. And they might have did that on purpose, y'all. They might have did that on purpose. I will say from hearing different people, different friends, family, the, the courts don't like to look like they're wrong. They'll do anything to make it seem like this is what it is. They're the guardian. I'm not changing nothing. I made a decision. And I don't know, please, anybody that's a lawyer, I don't know how you reverse that. Let me know in the comments how you reverse that. So they might have had to put her there to hopefully get a different judge, hopefully get a different conservatorship, and hopefully you get a different guardian. The also concerning part is for them to sell her place. Because selling her place takes her away from what her memory knows. That's sad because at least if she would have still had her place, it's a comforting thing. You know what I mean? I know where this at. I know where that's at because the memory still holds that. So putting her now, when hopefully it'll get switched. When the new, because they said to either the judge or the guardianship or conservative is it, every year. It comes around. The one thing that I do know from my friend, theirs is every five years. So I don't know why Wendy's is every year. My friend's is every five years. I know that for a fact. So the biggest thing is, what wishes to her family? Prayers to her family. This should not be happening. Is it happening because Wendy's went rich? Is it happening because some people are putting their hands in her money and they want to keep it away from the son? Who should be getting it? Who should be the conservator? The other thing that me and my friends talked about, I'm wondering if her son could be the guardian or conservator if he's had health issues. I'm wondering if the sister could be the guardian or conservator if she has health issues. You understand what I'm saying? That's something me and my friends talked about. So we have the Will situation. Um, listening to one of my favorite, he was basically saying, Will is like the go-between. And then Will said, oh my goodness, I got to get my stuff together because if something happens, I could be liable for what's happening to her if I am the manager who reports to the guardian. And why isn't the guardian there? I've never known for the guardian not to be physically there. It seems as if the guardian is supposed to be visiting her, whether that's, I don't know. Note that in the comments, you guys. If there's a guardian, shouldn't a guardian be present daily? I, I, that's the one thing we don't know. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. But if you appoint somebody, shouldn't they be there daily? Making sure the day-to-day -day care is there. There has to be a change in these laws. Like Wendy said, if it could happen to me, it could happen to y'all. But is it happening to rich people that are not married? You can't do nothing with a married couple. They're not going to play with you. You can't do nothing with a married couple. You can't do that. It goes to the husband. But even with her having a child that is, well, old enough to be the, you know, he's, he was over 18. Why couldn't he go to her son? This is the other thing I'll talk about. I think Kevin Hunter did a post and he's trying to straighten things up. And it looked like uh, Wendy Show wanted her back. They knew she wasn't well. We could see they didn't really care because they didn't even allow Wendy to really grieve her mom properly. They could have ran shows. They could have had feelings, anything. It just did not seem like they cared about her personally in regards to her well-being. It was like a work her horse. So Kevin Hunter's the issue. The divorce was the issue. The cheating and having the child was an issue. Her health was an issue. What the show expected out of her people telling her that she can have a podcast or other opportunities when they should have said no focus on your health what else did i want to cover um there was moments in regards to the the show that just is just heart-wrenching speaking of the son when they came to uh lunch and the son was like wow when i had her my mom had gained the weight she needed to gain and she looked well 
Now he saw her a few months later and she was really thin. Why aren't they feeding her? That's ridiculous. That in itself is concerning. I don't I don't know. I don't know. That's that's concerning. So, you know, some of the things that Will says, people are saying he's a little harsh, but he's a man. Who knows if that's what it is. But her son is definitely concerned. She gets really emotional when she talks about her son. You can still, you see that the dad is really concerned. They took a boat. We saw clips on YouTube. We saw her sitting in the bed, moving her arms back and forth. She looked healthy. Feeding her shakes is not going to get it. Give it. Get it. Give her salads if you want to make sure she's healthy. Make sure she's eating, you know, fish or salmon or something. You know what I'm saying? Three course meal. Give her breakfast. You know what I'm saying? French toast, eggs, whatever. Whatever she needs. Um, I think I might do a part two. This one's getting long. But that's the biggest thing is if she is out of the country, are they seeking to switch the guardianship, conservatorship, get a different judge and try to make sure the son knows what's going on and are, are they trying to keep him away from everything because they don't want to see how the money is being spent well wishes everyone thanks for tuning in thanks for supporting the channel like comment and subscribe